Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. Try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Get moving. Aiden, still alive? Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. I wonder if my family's mail has finally arrived. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Seven steps straight ahead, then 16 more steps, turn left. Are you okay there? Oh, damn it.
Flash, did you mess with it? No. Maybe it's the water. I got to wash for the first time in a month. Go. But report it if it starts acting weird. Good day, citizen. Looking for a job? Our cook needs an assistant. seen my kids in Hey, <coughs> hope you got your own water, Pilgrim. Our tanks are nearly empty. Aiden, do me a favor and climb up there. We need the windmill back on. Pilgrim, fancy giving us a hand with the crops? I oh, hope it rains You're soon. always so nice to have about things, Naira. Because you don't understand me. The essence of... The essence. Nara oh. said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Nara wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal. <laughs> Sounds absurd.
Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up, to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. <coughs> and remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved, then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. The shepherd always knows who he lets into the corral.
Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. I'm Damien. Aiden. Is it... I... Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you won't regret it. Ginger with a you can try planting seeds, but perennials would be better. 
Hi, I'm in the bazaar today.